Hi from Piero, Technical Director of SecPoint and welcome to this presentation video. Today I'm introducing Penetrator 28.5 with new interesting features. We have added more languages to the vulnerability scan reports. As of today, these languages are available. Danish, English, which is the default, Spanish, Croatian, Italian, Dutch, Norwegian and Thai. The language can be selected in menu system, report branding. Here you can browse through the available languages, select the new language and press OK. I remind you that this feature is at user level, therefore different users even using the same penetrator system will be able to generate reports in different languages. Now we can go to the home page create new reports the reports will be created in the new language and as soon as the report is ready we can display it and it will be in the new language another feature we have added to the reports which is available through the same page is the possibility to remove the gap analysis from the reports. Sometimes it is useful not to show any difference from the previous scan for the same target. So by simply unchecking this checkbox, the gap analysis chapter will be removed from all new reports. If your language is not in this list and you wish to create reports in your language, please contact us at support at secpoint.com If you need to install multiple penetrator appliances in your network environment or in the case the penetrator's host name must be published on the internet you may find useful to change the penetrator's host name. The default host name is penetrator.secpoint.com and it can be changed to a name of your choice. When you have set the new host name, click on Set IP Gateway and DNS, and the new name will be set. You can see this message that is reminding that if I have changed the DNS settings, I am invited to check the DNS performance. This is a new function as well. We can check the DNS performance. In every case, we have the doubt that the penetrator has poor internet performance. And this is the result of the check. Another interesting function is the possibility to change the smart host relay for all mails that the penetrator sends when a scan has been completed or when a scan has too many false positives and so on. This function is available in the system smart host relay. Here we can enter the smart host relay, host name or IP address, the port number, username and password and the authorization mechanism. Press OK and the new information will be set. Then we can also send a test email using the new parameters. If the mail reaches the recipient's mailbox, it means that the above parameters are correct. To increase the possibility to customize the product, we have added a new branding function. With this function, you can upload a login logo that will appear on the login page of the penetrator and a page logo, which is the logo that appears on the top of every page of the penetrator. Another new function allows to customize the database update interval. It is in the update menu. When the page opens, you can view the current frequency for the database update. I remind you that a database update downloads the definition for the vulnerabilities and it is important to download these definitions frequently. However, you can change the default frequency from daily to weekly, which means one or more days a week and select the hour of the day or even monthly, which is at least one day a month every month. 
by holding the control key you can select more days and you can also select the hour of the day or you can even choose to download this definition more than once a day from every hour to every 12 hours so twice a day for the complete list of changes of penetrator 28.5 Please take a look at the release notes document that is available for download on our website. Thank you and see you on next video from SecPoint. Bye bye.